Welcome to the beautiful historic district in Eufaula, Alabama. With over 700 structures listed in the National Historic Register, Eufaula is worth a visit. A few hours can be spent walking along North Eufaula Avenue, North Randolph Avenue, and a couple of side streets, Barber and Broad. This commercial building on Broad Street had the town's first freight elevator and paved sidewalk. It was built by two brothers in 1840. One brother was the mayor as well as the first undertaker of Eufaula, and oddly enough, it sold furniture as well as caskets. This was built in 1890 as a freight depot and is now the home of the Visitor Center, Heritage Museum, and Chamber of Commerce. And across the street, the Reeves Peanut Company. Built in 1903, it was originally a warehouse for the Eufaula Grocery Company. The old post office was built in 1913 and on the site of an old hotel where Jefferson Davis once stayed in 1881. Although it fits in and looks old and has an early 1800s Baccarat crystal chandelier in the lobby, the Trustmark Bank building was actually built in 1969. On North Randolph Avenue, the beautiful First Presbyterian Church. It was constructed in 1869 of brick imported from Holland. The large Tiffany window sustained tornado damage in 1919. However, many of the original interior features remain, such as exposed beams, pulpit furniture, and vaulted ceiling. The Gothic Revival Bray Garrison Home, built by John Bray in 1855. The Birch Abraham home was constructed on the foundation of an old log cabin. The log cabin was built in 1816. The home you see now was constructed between 1890 and 1900, with rear and upstairs additions added in later years. And the beautiful Dean Page Hall, built around 1850, and supposedly the original kitchen is in the basement. This is the Rhodes Davis home, built in 1889 with money won in a New Orleans lottery, and in the front yard, one of Alabama's largest male ginkgo trees. The Milton McIlvain home was built in 1850. James Milton purchased the home in 1871 and owned the first jewelry store in Eufaula. And now, a stroll down the beautiful North Eufaula Avenue. This Queen Anne style home built in 1896 has a miniature version of the front porch built on the second story balcony. And next door is a Drury Mitchell Moore home built in 1848. Dr. John Drury, who was well known as a typhoid doctor, opened his home as a hospital for typhoid patients as well as treating Civil War patients on his back porch. And our last building, the beautiful Shorter Mansion. Originally built in 1884 as a one-story house, Eli Sims Shorter II and his wife remodeled this one-story home in 1906 into this mansion. In 1906, the construction cost $100,000. In 1965, a group of Eufaula citizens purchased the mansion for $33,000. They formed the Eufaula Heritage Association. The mansion now holds the Eufaula Historical Museum and is open for tours and special events. Mm -hmm.